Hello, welcome back again. We are doing today a curry. Now, you know I am not a fan of kormas. I stopped eating baby food donkeys years ago, but we're going to give it a go. And this is Tesco's chicken korma with pilau rice. Creamy coconut curry made with a traditional spice blend. Baby food then. Now when I bought this, it was £2.80. Uh, I don't know what they are now. Probably about 18 quid with our prices are rising. But it's that one. Yeah, that's the one. Let's see. Is it tasty? I mean, you know, corn as can be. It doesn't look too appetising in there, but... Yeah. I'm going to ding it in the microwave, let's get it cooked and let's see. Is this going to turn me into a Korma fan? <laughs> So there it is, straight out of the dinger. Now, first off the rice, usual ding rice, but I have to be honest, the rice doesn't look that bad. Um, we'll have a look and see if it's proper basmati rice. It does look like basmati rice, so that could be okay. Steaming away. Now, the baby, for, uh, the korma, it needs a real good stir up this, so let's stir it and then let's see what the consistency is like. Right, that's had a good stir. That's thickened it up, look, because all the coconut was at the bottom because it's just come out of the microwave. So the consistency for a korma, not bad. Again, it's a, a darker colour than it's appearing on the camera because of the lights. It's more of like an orangey colour. And there is, I have to say, quite a bit of chicken in there as well for just like a, a one meal jobby. So let's go to the table then and let's see. Is it korma extraordinaire or is it in the bin? Let's see at the table. Yeah, basmati rice. I thought it looked like it. You can tell with the looks of it. Let's try that rice first. Now, I can see that there is cumin seeds in there. I think that's about it for as far as like seeds. and There's no cloves in there, no cinnamon or cassia bark. There's none of that stuff in there. It is just cumin seeds and then it's smell-wise. It doesn't smell bad either. So let's try this rice. That is surprising. I've got to admit that that rice is not like your normal ding rice. It's not. It's not like that chewing on elastic bands texture. It's it's cooked really nice. Not perfect. Not like you cook your own basmati rice, but it's that's probably one of the best microwave basmati rices I've tried. It's up there with the VT, I think it is, which I regard as probably the best uh, microwave rice you can get in the little plastic tubs. This is up there with that. Moving on to the curry then. The sauce first, or the gravy. Loads of coconut in it, it's a korma. Really thick sauce to it, gravy. Let's try it. The sauce gravy, I'll just call it sauce, the, the, it should be called gravy, but the sauce is that thick, look, that's on a fork and it's just sitting on it, it's not even dropping through, it's really thick, and it's really thick because of the amount of coconut, I don't know if they've used almonds in it as well, ah, right again, ground almonds, used as a thickening agent as well, and you're getting that coconut flavour, but you know there's like the sweetness from the almonds coming through as well. And, to be honest, that's about all I'm tasting. Because uh, it, it's korma. There's a load. I mean, you can see on there. That is the amount of ingredients. Just that section there. All the ingredients, the spices and everything. But you can't taste it. Well, I can't taste them because I don't eat kormas. Um, you know, we eat hot curries, so... If you eat a korma, you probably get the, the spices coming through a bit more. But to me, I'm just getting the creamy, nutty coconut flavour to it. Mm. Very sweet. Let's try the chicken. Oh, chicken looks really cooked well. And it's proper chicken chunks as well. Yeah, proper, proper chicken chunks. It's not reformed or anything. And it's really, it does look tender. 
So let's try it. Mmm, chicken's cooked really nice as well, and there is quite a bit in there. Now what we need to do is put the korma in with the rice. Because that's what you do on your plate, isn't it? You dump it all on. Right, the korma with the rice. That, it sounds silly, but the rice does help. It's not as sickly when you've got the rice and the korma together. Right then, let's get into the rating of Tesco's. This is not Tesco's finest, by the way. This is just Tesco's chicken korma with pilau rice. Let's do the rating first, shall we? For what it is, a korma with rice. I don't eat kormas, but... Shock, horror, is getting a thumbs up. Um, I, the rice is nice. For all of those that eat the really mild curries, then I think you'd like this. If you do like a korma, then this is as, as good as any of that. Um, for it's normally the reviews, because other than that, I won't buy a korma. But I know my mum would love this. She'd say, oh, that curry's nice. £2.80, it's not bad. If you like a korma and you want a quick curry fix, you're going out and it's like, oh, well, I haven't got time to cook, or oh, I don't want to cook, don't want all the pots everywhere. Five minutes in the microwave, that's it, that's your curry done. And I have to say, I don't eat kormas, but... It's not bad. As all kormas, it just needs a bit more spice coming through, but that's the nature of the beast with the korma, so hence it's got the thumbs up. If it was a personal um, rating, and it was something that I was testing out, and I thought, right, this, I'm judging this on what I actually think, you know it would have got a down, because it's too creamy, too rich, and the coconut and the almonds, it's really sweet, and that's just not me with a curry. So it would have got a down for that. But I can't judge it just because I don't eat kormas. I'm judging it on, is is it edible for a start? And is it what a korma should be? And the answer is yes and yes. So it's a thumbs up. If you like kormas, go and get it from Tesco's. I think you'll like it. The rice makes it because the rice is cooked really nice. And we're done on that one. A thumbs up for a korma. What is the world coming to? thumbs up on this video help the channel out we do appreciate it subscribe if you're not it's free drop your comments in below if you eat these sort of curries do you fancy giving it a go or have you even tried it if so let us know drop all your comments in below we we'll like some interaction with you as well and we will catch you on the next one and i'm going to go and finish this because even though it's it's not my boat but i'll still eat it see you later